Tonight's episode of America's Most Wanted on Fox featured a case from the Fort Worth suburb of White Settlement. A man wanted for a 2016 stabbing remains on the run. Fox Force Davis Santandri spoke to the White Settlement Police Chief and joins us from the police department. David. Yeah, initially police believed that the stabber fled to Mexico, but right now they believe there's a chance he might be back here in North Texas. Blood on the front of the house. In the early morning hours of November 20th, 2016, White Settlement Police Department says Gloria Sanchez was home with her then boyfriend, Cesar Colleen, when Colleen became hostile because she refused to have sex with him. That led to her getting up to call police. He told her, if you call, I'm going to kill you. Colleen learned Sanchez called 911, so he stabbed her five times, according to the department. Pretty significant injury. She tries to get away. She ends up outside. She's trying to get to the neighbor's house just for help. She ends up collapsing. Investigators located Sanchez in a pool of blood, but Colleen was gone, and he's still on the run. We know that someone knows where this guy's at. Police believe Colleen initially fled to Mexico, but where is he now? He may have come back from Mexico, could even be in the North Texas area. White Settlement PD is now working with America's Most Wanted in an effort to catch the criminal. The 911 dispatcher could not ascertain what exactly was going on, but she did hear a female screaming for help. Colleen had taken Gloria's phone away from her and ran out the back door with both Gloria's phone and the bloody knife to the neighboring street where he dropped both the phone and the knife, and we believe that he fled the area. Hello? Luckily, the phone was able to stay connected, and the 911 dispatcher heard everything. Sanchez was left for dead that morning. She nearly bled out, but first responders showed up with tourniquets. Listen to 911 dispatch. Some a woman screaming. They found the cell phone in the grass and the knife with blood on it. It gets worse. Police believe Colleen thought Sanchez was dead, but after Colleen learned of her recovery, he allegedly sent two hitmen with guns to her new residence to kill her. Her daughter was there. They were looking for her. Her daughter kind of played it real cool and said, hey, she's not here. Today, Sanchez is alive and well. She lives a very private life. And while her life is private, investigators want everyone to know her story and to see the face of the man they're trying to capture for her stabbing. She's not going to be intimidated. She's going to continue living her life, but absolutely she wants justice. Police say Caesar Colleen has relatives in the Grand Prairie area. So if he is back in North Texas, they say Grand Prairie is one area to keep an eye out for. If anyone has any information on his whereabouts, you're asked to call 911.